Redoing your landscape doesn't mean ripping up your lawn and using a lot of water. Of course, it's always important to conserve water. Joining us now with some tips is Stephen Nordstrom, Information Specialist at the Board of Water Supply. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, we have some interesting combination of items here, but they're mm -hmm. all relatable. Tell us yes. what we got. All right, we got these cute little Xeriscape plants right here. So mm -hmm. these are um, plants that we recommend that people, um, when it comes to gardening, if they want to redo their landscape, to go with Xeriscape um, plants because it saves water. Water, number one. And the other thing is, too, is um, less maintenance. Less maintenance, and that's yes. really good news. Oh, yeah, saving yes. time and money, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to redo your lawn, kind of change up your landscape, you don't uh -huh. have to rip everything up. No, so a lot of people, um, when they do xeriscaping, they only do a part of their lawn when it comes to xeriscaping. But if you already have kind of the thirsty plants, which we don't recommend, you can do something like this, this and huge thing here. What is that huge thing there? So normally I bring my little rain barrel, but mm -hmm. this is more of a realistic style rain barrel. And I'll tilt okay. it a little bit here. As you can see, um, when, it, when the water comes down your roof, you would have a downspout that would collect into here. And then this would fill up with a rainwater, which you can use to water your lawn. Okay, so you don't have to catch the rain, that little spout. You can use maybe like a funnel thing or something, mm -hmm. whatever yeah. contraption you want Yeah, so use. that water comes off the roof, comes down the gutter into the downspout, and it will fill up the barrel. And there's some people that don't have like a gutter system. Mm -hmm. you can take the rain barrel and just have an opening and maybe put a screen on it to get mosquitoes out and the water can collect that way as well. And the benefits of having the, this barrel. Oh, no potable water. Right. You're not using any water from the municipal water supply and the thing about it is that you're not paying for that water. It's all free water. So we're saving water, which is what we need because we want to make every drop count. And where can someone get one of these barrels. So you can purchase these from like Hardware Hawaii City Mill. Also, you can go online to purchase them, and the Board of Water Supply does rebate because we want people to get these rain barrels. Mm -hmm. We'll give you a $40 rebate on rain barrels that are 45 gallons or larger, and mm -hmm. you can get creative too. You can make your own rain barrel, and if you submit the receipts and pictures, we'll give you a rebate on that as well. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. So to get this rebate for this specific barrel, though, do you just go online just, to your website? Yes, correct. Okay. BoardofWaterSupply.com slash rebates. Okay. Yeah. And then and what do we have here? Because it was closed at first and it almost looked like one of those old home slide projectors, yes. but it's not. No, it's not. So some people, maybe they don't want to go through the whole rain barrel. It's too much work for them and they really like their irrigation system. Mm -hmm. So this is what you want to get. Okay. Because this is a smart irrigation device. So this connects to local weather stations and it adjusts your watering schedule. So you don't have to worry about overwatering. You don't have to worry about your lawn being saturated because when you overwater, that can destroy your plants. And the other big thing is you don't have to worry about water waste or runoff because runoff enters our storm drains and pollutes our oceans. Okay, so how does it work? You plug it in and then you just kind of set everything up? Yeah, so what you would do is you would plug this in. If you have Wi-Fi, this will connect to your sprinkler systems. Mm -hmm. And so it, there's local weather stations in the area. Some do the soil moist moisturizer sensors. But the great thing is that it's going to adjust and tailor your whole watering schedule. So when it's pouring rain, you don't have to worry about your sprinklers going off because right. nobody likes seeing that water waste. Plus, it's not great for your garden and lawn as well. Yeah, that's so a right. great way to save water and to save money in the long run. And back to the rain barrel yes, really quickly because you look at it and think, wow, that's huge. It's going to take forever to fill it up, but not really the case. No, it, so it depends how much it rains. Uh, of course, if it rains more, it's going to fill up quicker. But yeah, they can fill up really fast. And you can get creative with them. So normally you would add it. This one doesn't have it on it, mm -hmm. but you can add a spigot on it. And we do workshops at the Board of Water Supply where we'll do, we're now doing in-person workshops. Okay. And you can, um, we'll help you with putting the spigot on and kind of explain the benefits fits and how it works. But this is a great way to save water and to save money. It is. And again, all the information on your website. Yes, borderwatersupply.com slash rebates. Stephen Norsham, nice to see you again. Yeah, Thank nice you so much for joining too. us. Thank you.